What's up guys, King the Slabs here, and this is all the Seraph weapons that dropped from the Ancient Dragons of Destruction. Now the first one I'm going to show you is the Omen Shotgun, which in my opinion is probably the best Seraph weapon in this DLC. It's a tier shotgun, so obviously it, you throw it like a grenade when you reload, and it shoots in a circular pattern. It's a pretty strong shotgun as it is even without the reload grenade damage. It shoots, like I said, in a circular pattern, so it's pretty easy to hit the enemies, and I also have the shock version, which I'm about to show right here, and it does it does a good amount of damage, and usually takes down enemy shields with one hit. So on a Mechromancer that has a shock build, it could be a pretty strong weapon. And also on a Krieg and a Commando Explosive build, since it is a TDR shotgun, it could do pretty well. Now right here I'm showing the Stinger Pistol, which is pretty much the Infinity with a magazine size, and its special effect is it ricochets off everything. So possibly with a Mechromancer, with the ricochet skill, it could do a good amount of damage. And also, there's a slag version, so this might be the slag infinity that everybody's looking for. Now, I do still prefer the infinity over this, just because it does have infinite bullets and you never run out of ammo. But it's a pretty good pistol, and like I said, it's a, it comes in a slag version. So that's pretty helpful, because it's a slag infinity, kind of. Now, the last Seraph item that drops is the blockade shield which in my opinion is not that great of a shield. It special effect is, if your shield's fully recharged, you get high damage resistance. But in my opinion, it's not that high of damage resistance at all. This orc right here can take down my shield with two, two, three hits, which most shields that you can get in the game last that long as well. I mean, the sham's still better, the B shield because the amp damage, the evolution. I mean, there's still a lot better shields out there in the game. But I thought I'd try it out on bullets here in Lynchwood, and still the same thing happened. It's not that great. So I wouldn't recommend, you know, using it for your normal gameplay. But yeah, guys, that's all the weapons, that the Seraph weapons that dropped from the Ancient Dragons of Destruction in Tiny Tina's DLC. Thanks for watching.